What is ACI 211 mix design method? This is actually a document that the American Concrete Institute uh, has published that goes over the standard practices for selecting portions for normal heavy and mass concrete. And so I think this will be updated again pretty soon. I'm actually part of this committee, uh, but right now I'm gonna talk about the, the, the night, uh, 1991 version that was approved that's been used for many years. So again, this is a mixed design method 101, how to come up with your batch portions, your rock, your sands, your cement, your water. There's nine basic steps in this mixed design process. Um, and they are really straightforward. I'll have a slide that kind of goes over that. But this is an academic approach, to be honest. A lot of the different components they, they, they came in with to design this is uh, a lot of a lot of uh, a little bit more theory with some with some uh, testing and stuff that, that came with it. And it is not an exact approach, okay? Uh, there are other methods that are out there that some argue might be better, but this is the most common that they teach you in school. So the goal of an ACI 211 mixed design, sometimes it calls the, they're called the absolute volume method. Um, this is this is all about designing a cubic yard, one yard. You're trying to figure out in a three times three times three or 27 cubic foot which is also one yard, that one yard box, how much cement, how much water, rock, sand that you're going to put in that box. Oh, don't forget air. How much we're going to put in that actual box. And there is a volume uh, calculation down here. Uh, the batched weights of the material divided by the specific gravity of, of, of that material times the unit weight of the water. And this is typically pretty generic uh, equation, but you know, if you want to convert from water to, uh, to oh, sorry, from volume to weight or weight to volume, uh, this, the specific gravity of that material times the unit weight of water, 62.4 is uh, typically how you do it. And I'll show another video on how to do that. So the basic approach again for this method is that you're trying to figure out how to fill that how to fill that box up. So you you obviously want to figure out okay how much water and cement do I need to get my to get my correct slump. So you need to figure out what your slump is. You need to figure out okay your coarse aggregate size. How how large can you really go? And then you need to go through and check uh, okay so how much water do I need to get to get to to meet this uh, exact slump. And then you have your air content uh, to figure out, okay, you know, for free stall resistance, is it air and train or non air and train concrete? And if it's air and trained, is it severe, mild, um, you know, et cetera cases? And they have all that in that table. Number four is they'll actually go and you, and you calculate using the strength uh, what the water cement ratio is. Number five, you go into the cement content and, and back calculate using the step four. Uh, where you have your water cement ratio determined. And then also step three, where we talk about water content, you can actually go through uh, and, and do the basic water to cement uh, ratio equation and back calculate to figure out the cement. Step number six is your coarse aggregate content, figuring out that uh, B over B naught. And then step seven is the fine aggregate where you just literally treat fine aggregate as the filler. So everything that's not already filled up in the box you do 27 minus uh, the, the volume of the coarse aggregate, the cement, the water, um, and the air, you, all that that's in there, you just minus all of that um, from 27. And then whatever that is, is going to be the fine aggregate content. And then obviously you're going to adjust for your moistures of your aggregate because it rains, you know, it, it, the, the rock dries out in the sun, whenever it's humidity changes over time so there's going to be some 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 uh, moisture adjustments that you're going to have to make or your water cement ratio is going to be off and then step number nine last but not least is that trial batch adjustment it may look great on paper but how does it look when you actually make the concrete so going out and testing the concrete and placing it maybe doing some mock-ups those are all super helpful 
to figure out how good this mix is. You make those adjustments and you move on down the road. I should also mention things like the uh, ACI in, uh, in 1991, they didn't really focus on things like fly ash or water reducer, stuff like that. So that's actually not a part of this method. So anyways, uh, I have other videos, come check them out on ACI 211 mix design method, but this was just a very generic overview of the basic theory. 